Good afternoon, DC. What's well, background music, Captain? Hit me, baby. You have Wagner, right? Play that. This is still so weird to me that this is the uh, song that they play in this whole operation. Eliminate all enemy battle frames. Clear the path before we start the next phase. I get the reference and all, but like, really? Uh, it seems all battle frames in the combat area are unmanned. What? They're all drones? Oh, jeez. Forgot about that part. I'm pretty sure we get some like piloted uh, robots later in this mission, right? Not not just imagining things. I think. Anyway, yes, we did this mission one time already previously, but then I game over because I did not protect our target like I should have. Nah, culpa. So anyway, welcome back to do this crazy mission. We have the new Akarui Mirai after we had that amazing like uh, little. An amazing little, like, opening, not opening, a fun little mission with uh, Mirai where she had to face her demons and stuff. And then someone also built this super turbo next-gen robot. I don't know who did that, honestly. They kind of glossed over that part, didn't they? It's fine, it's fine. I'll take it. And now we need to... I, I erroneously said last episode that we are saving the president. I rewatched the cutscene. We don't actually know who the VIP we are saving from the Pentagon is, but there is some sort of... Some sort of high priority target in the Pentagon. I'm just gonna guess it's the president. I'm still still fairly confident on that one. Fire! Oh, I love how those homing lasers fire off. Chunk, 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 boom! They got splashed. No, no, no! Hurry for now, cause uh, oh, that's right. The weird hitboxes on ground targets. We need enough aerial clearance. Not even enough aerial clearance. There we go. Looks like the defense has been lowered enough. Begin phase two of the operation. Hey, Matt. Why are you sitting on the helmet? So I don't get shot in the crotch. Man, this is awesome! I... Is... Was that Full Metal Jacket, that reference? I, I swear that's a, from somewhere. This is nothing but human instinct. There we go. This, that means that there's some actual human bogeys coming this way. Oh no, they're right on tail of Skull Squadron. Where's Shorebird? Shorebird is like right over here. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I, I get it. It's a, it's a giant robot anime. We need to pontificate about the nature of humankind and all that jazz. But what... What did you just say, dude? Where's Shorebird now? So, yeah, last time I was not watching our target close enough. Well, well I'd say the game game did not make Shorebird very in danger for a while, except suddenly it became super vulnerable to attacks. Alright, that's everything I had, and I foolishly emptied my entire salvo of equipment. Man, this M M3 is right... Right on its tail. Enjoy some missiles, why don't you? There we go. Continue your fight with this resolve. There is no fate but what we make. I acknowledge you. <laughs> Destroyer! Well, th thank you, I guess. Uh, at least appreciate the, uh... Appreciate the uh, honesty there. Oh, we got some ground targets as well. I should probably take care of those while... Skull Squadron. I I'm, a I'm a little worried about Skull Squadron as well. Like, uh, how well they're gonna handle, uh, look at those freaking psycho drones go there. It looks crazy that we just tore through those. Okay, um, but, like, honestly, protecting the helicopter is way more important, like, sadly. Skull Squadron is nearer and dearer to my heart, for sure, but, uh, Shorebird. We have arrived at the target building. All right, ladies, time to move! Okay, Great. Shorebird. Protect the Shorebird while they are standing by. Go, go, go! Blue team, you're with me. Red team, check the other oh, This is really neat, the way they're like... The way that everyone is... Oh! This building is so freaking huge! Oh, a Gripen. Where is that sonar drone? I told you not to bring useless stuff! Stop acting like that blue robot! Th that, that has to be a Doraemon reference. Contact! I can't get over Please that. I can't believe that they make a Doraemon reference, cause... Sure, I guess he's a robot, so... Matt, fire your grenade at the marked location. 
So why not, but like... You know, not exactly giant robot material. All that said, I can't wait until Doraemon shows up in the next Super Robot Wars. After all the crazy, like, robots that have shown up in Super Robot Wars, particularly at Cross Omega, the iOS game. I'm not really a fan of it for the gameplay, haven't played it myself, honestly, <laughs> if we're perfectly honest. But, like, uh, the amount of weird series that show up in it is impressive, so... I guess we can't discount, uh... Can't discount Doraemon eventually showing up there. For those who don't know, Doraemon is this adorable blue robot cat who helps out this, uh... Happy-go-lucky Japanese, uh, kid called Nobita. To, uh, deal with all sorts of, uh, everyday problems in, uh, Japan. And, uh, he has all sorts of funny... Gadgets that he uh, provides. Let's launch some decoys here. Maybe that'll help out. Because now I see why these enemies got the plane. They are just swarming from everywhere. Red team here. I think we found a package. Here's a flashbang. Bridge and clear. Go, go, go! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna lose the helicopter again. This is rough! VIP secured. Where do all these enemies here. come from? It's kind of crazy. And I getting destroyed too. Leave him. He's dead. No. We go together. No one gets left behind. Jesus, look at this. The helicopter's almost blown up again. Like. Damn, cut to the wire. Are we gonna make it out of this after all? No, we did not, my goodness. I didn't stray far, but I sure did guess I didn't focus my fire. That is nuts well, where all those enemies suddenly in. come out of nowhere uh, to swarm that helicopter after how smooth the mission is to begin with. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I, Eliminate all enemy battle frames. I'm a little the overwhelmed there. Start the next phase. So yeah, Doraemon, not a giant robot anime. Doraemon does not See, blow up enemies with missiles area, and stuff. He just has funny Was gadgets and he drones? gets into hijinks with these, uh, with Nobita and all these other, like, uh, kids. I don't remember any of the other kids' names in the series. But I guess he's a giant rob- not a giant robot, I mean, he's just a robot and he, uh, is a Japanese, so... I guess he- that elicits a, uh reference in this game. Sure, why not? Why not? We're, we're having fun, aren't we? Currently, I'm not having super fun, because keeping this damn helicopter alive is, uh... Something else. There we go. Wow, look at that! I splashed the entire formation. That was cool. This is a, this is a cool mission, definitely. I like, uh... I like uh, us overwhelming this area. Now if I can only figure out how to uh, how to beat that uh, beat that onslaught around the helicopter, they just chewed through the health. Let's see how that works. Looks like the wow, it looks cool. Enough. Begin phase two of the operation. Hey, Matt, why are you sitting on the helmet so I don't get shot in the crotch? Man, this is awesome! Like, I swear that's a reference from something, but I... That one's blanking out on me. Maybe Full Metal Jacket, just because it's a helicopter? The, if they were talking about shooting water buffaloes, then I would uh, understand what we're... Then I know what we're talking about, but uh, unfortunately I don't remember what that's from. You know what would be funny is if it was from Jarhead, that uh, war movie I talked about briefly last episode, because... <laughs> I can't remember any quotes from that, except I think there was something about the... There's something about sand fucking in that or something? When they're like all in a pile, in the, they're playing... They're playing like a football or something, and then they start doing something completely different. I don't know why I'm so on Jarhead on my mind, like... <laughs> It, I didn't think it was like anything special or anything. Uh, mainly, I liked it. Mainly, I thought it was mainly cool for the ending. Um, the how 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 the war was presented in that movie, I thought was a, m rather novel. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at those psycho drones go. There we go. So many targets. 
so little missiles. Well, that's not gonna hit the fighter plane. Let's get that'll that'll do some damage. Ah! Where is our target now? Right there. Oh, Jesus! That was bad of me. I really should keep my eye on... Uh... I really should keep my eye on the helicopter because... Uh... They can do some damage already here. Where's the helicopter now? There it is. This is Shorebird. We have oh man, Still already lost like a third of his health. Not good. Protect the Shorebird while they are standing by. See if we can blow up some of these. I don't know if these uh, ground targets are after the uh, Shorebird. Now where is that sonar drone? I told you not to bring useless stuff. Doraemon <laughs> Imagine what Doraemon would say in this situation. He kinda has a really scratchy voice. A lot of cartoon cats do. I guess cats just are scratchy like that. Jesus, the helicopter's already this dead! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not even mad, I'm just amazed. How are you supposed to do this mission? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, once more into the fray, eh, fellas? Eliminate all enemy battle frames. Clear the path before we start uh, the A couple more phase. of these and I'm gonna have to look up how other people do this. I'm kind of drawing a blank here, like... It seems all battle frames in the combat area are unmanned. What? They're all drones? There we go. Well, at least the music's good. <laughs> That's something, yeah. So I need to clear those ground targets a little bit. I, I wish we had more time to blow up the ground targets before... Uh, before uh, the helicopter comes in. Gotta keep my angle high. Don't think I've forgotten about all of you. Fighter squadron, eh? This should... Bam! That's amazing. That That is super cool. So yeah, I have to say, they did not explain very well where this Mirai came from. Like, I understand... Uh, I understand... Uh, What's-her-face? Uh, Mirai, the character, like, overcoming her, like, demons. Sure. And, like, coming back to the fight, but... At what point did they like build the, the Akarui Mirai the here? I'm, I'm, I'm a little unclear on that. Hey, Matt, why are you sitting on the helmet? So I don't get shot in the crotch. Man, this is awesome! So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna deal with these lads really quickly. Really quickly. Whoa! So, so that's where this guy comes from. Or, well, one of those guys. It's Balam Squadron. Suffering is inevitable. All who live suffer. All who Shut up! <laughs> Splashed him. Where is the... Now let's go help out the helicopter. I dealt a little bit with the ground targets. Oh my god. Why does Skull Squadron leave the hel... They're supposed to be the backup for this uh, helicopter. So why does they... Why on earth would they, uh, like, just boogie on ahead this this hard? Aw, oh, jeez. And once again, Balam fighter. <laughs> Going down in the water a little bit here. Damn, another missile. It's it's a sturdy helicopter, I have to say. I'm glad it's not like a realistic helicopter in that sense. Oh, splash that viper. Damn, these guys just keep coming after. Let me just put some more smart missiles on their asses. Oh, there's the helicopter still.
Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is not going to hit a fighter. Hmm. I don't really want to leave the shorebird either, though. Let's see if we can splash one of them. You never know. Although, although we could just send some psycho drones to, like, cut through them, like... Butter through gravy. There you go. Nice, we there's no uh, ground fully. targets this time. All right, ladies, time to move. Great. Protect the shorebird while they are standing Now let's by. try and figure out where all of these damn enemies show up from. Red room, check the other side. Oh, jeez. This building is so freaking huge. Now where is that sonar drone? I told you not to bring useless stuff. Stop acting like that blue robot cat thing. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand what the lore here is. Like, is Doraemon part of the CFN forces? Like, what? What does it mean that uh, this blue robot cat is messing with? Yeah, it's on one of these five sides of this five-cornered thing. I don't know what to call this building. It's so weird shaped. It's got like five... Five sides to it. Who built a building like this? Ah. Send everything! FIRE EVERYTHING! Keep firing! Let's shoot some flares while we're near this thing, just so, uh... Jesus, the range on these guys! Okay. Look at this! This damn Gripen's here! Anyone else attacking? Uh, there's one. Enjoy some. There we go. He got overwhelmed. Anybody else still want some? Okay. <laughs> I love this. This dialogue that's going on here is hilarious. By the way, I mean, I mean, because it, 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 it's like really. I hate to use the word cliche, but it's so like standard like dialogue while this whole situation's going on. I I I I'm 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 amused. Okay, Skull Squadron is doing a really good job of drawing fire for now. I'm not gonna leave Shorebird for now. I'm gonna just keep a Well, I can take a few pot shots while we're There we go. That's that should be both Skull Skull Squadron lads now. Rena and Skull One hanging out over there. So okay, we managed to we managed okay in this this time. I'm pretty happy with how that went. That is just mysterious. Hey, nice. Uh, Let's go. Metro. He said he wants to speak to you. Should we tell you who he is? Look. The VIP. Got shot up. Got oh, of course. There's a new wave of enemies. The president. The president Sean Soloway, sir. Hi, hey, boys. Lieutenant Colonel Ingrid from Mithra, aren't you? And that girl should be around here too. Yes, sir. Mirai, sir. This is the second time you've rescued me. After the last time, they took me hostage. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, wait. Shit. Okay. This mission is not done after we save the president. Oh, thank goodness they give a chick point here. That's very kind of you, game. All right. I was, I was wondering, like, the game has been very nice about checkpoints for so long that, uh, that they wouldn't give us checkpoints in this mission. But, uh, okay. Thank goodness they eventually... Showed us some mercy here. It must have something to do with like the helicopter health. Like um, you can't have checkpoints with the helicopter health because you notice it's it's reset now, which is uh, a little unfair, I guess. But like, jeez, the enemies just suddenly get really good at attacking this damn helicopter. Hey, aren't these the guys who escorted Air Force One and took down the Patriot? Hey, yeah, yeah, that's us. This is all of them. Unbelievable! We're suddenly quite famous, aren't we? You're talking way too much. So we missed out the dialogue that the president was gonna say, apparently. That damn cutscene ruined that. That's... 
unfortunate. It's a little annoying. The president was the president was talking about something. <laughs> Um, something important, but unfortunately we missed out on it. He was, uh, that, that's, that's a little annoying that uh, they couldn't reset the dialogue from that cutscene to the checkpoint. I, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Also, this is now way easier with the full health and, uh, I guess a bunch of enemies despawned, which were part of the previous wave, because now it's pretty okay. Shorebird. We have left the combat area. Thanks for the assist. No problem. Protecting energy buildup. Wait. Where is this coming from? Under the water? What? A submarine? Hi, Morgan, something is approaching from below the sea. Or Prepare for combat. An angel? Can you hear me, humans? I am Anapanasti. Uh? Life is short. Death is forever. I have um, slumbered through a great many wars, and can ignore the call of battle no longer. Now, you will reap the harvest of your you will what? wish- That was funny, his voice trailing off, because I'm just like, who the hell? Mirai, Morgan, we have no information on this battle frame. Don't get too close and to He's certainly a speedy it. one, I don't know if- patterns. Don't know if my rail cannon's gonna do anything to it. For death. So is this an AI? Shall grant it. I will destroy all. Capture drone, interesting. Capture trunks. Morgan, meet I. That weapon will slow down your battle frame. Don't let it catch you. Interesting if mechanic. You at once, you will be immobilized. Humans, humans, suffer the torments you so So, is that we're fighting a weird rogue AI? What is going? Also, this. This mechanic is really awful, by the way, these damn drones that it launches. I mean, okay, it's a good idea for a mechanic, but damn if they're hard to hit. Alright. Okay, so it's a transforming robot, no. sure. No future. No existence. No reason to resist. Damn, did I did any of my missiles get off on that lad? Damn, damn, this is rough. I can't really hit the capture drones either. Ooh. Enough! Humanity has run out of time! What what what, what is this? this is so weird that this thing shows up? It was an interesting looking the target for elimination. It was an interesting looking robot for sure. The mech kind of reminds me of the um Oh, that UFO-looking one from uh, Zeta Gundam. Uh, interesting. We can't use melee when the drones have us captured. <laughs> use the funnels to deal with these captured drones. Man, just trying to get a lock on on those things is obnoxious. Oh, well, I did not hit that. Try this on for size. We've done good damage to it. It's not an impossible fight. The helicopter thing seemed way harder. If we'd had no checkpoint after the president boarded the helicopter, I don't know how we would have... Uh, how we would have done that Missile mission. Only 50%? I'm fine with those odds. Yeah. No, you don't. Try these on for size, Anapanasti. I... For elimination. Damn. Try to take out these drones with my blade. I don't know how you're supposed to hit these drones, like, honestly. I, I, maybe with the psycho drones of our own, I suppose. Maybe they can rip those apart. Missile massacre. <laughs> if this guy is an AI, he is like hilarious. He is like, yeah, he's even cornier than um, Marvel movie Ultron, which I, I like that that Ultron was so like uh, 
Well, he was kind of like Tony Stark, basically. Like, his AI was based on... Based on Tony Stark to some extent, I believe. But I thought it was amusing, because, you know, you... It wasn't your standard, like, uh... Standard, like, emotionless, uh, logical AI. He, he was, like, this kind of goofy gray eye. And this, this, in that sense, I like this Anapanasti guy, but... HGPH-1 Anapanasti is a weapon project created in the 2040s. It is a weapon platform controlled by a sentient AI. That is what was going on! ...and evolving itself. It seems like it was shot down and went into hibernation during war. It was recently recovered by the Children of Fallen Nations and refurbished with modern weapons and engine drives, but the core of the AI remained the same. As doofy as ever. The same one used by the United States Ministry of Defense during the War of the Old World Nations. Wow. It must have been suffering all this time. It didn't sound like that. He seemed to be having the time Something of his life. by humans. Abandoned and destroyed by the very thing it sacrificed itself for. Okay, so that was really dumb, honestly, but it was also literally hilarious, because that was, like, a humongous amount of, like, pontification and, like, character stuff and what whatever, like, and what are we... Oh, no, I thought we were standing on a surfboard for a second. I thought this was Eureka 7 all of a sudden. Now we're just flying next to that. Uh, this is a cool shot. I love this. But, yeah, uh, uh, back to my point is that there was, like, so much, like, story building you could have done there and, like, um... About this rogue AI and like um, its motivations and like uh, the moral moral questions about it and stuff. Nope, we just did it in like five minutes. All that character building, all that backstory, everything just happened in like a snap of a finger. <laughs> That's it's it's kind of silly because it seems like a bit of wasted potential, but it's also kind of funny that they just they just threw that trope in our faces so hard, you know the the trope of the AI that like evolves to ha be sentient and stuff. Uh, oh man, <laughs> oh man, it's funny, funny. I I, I didn't hate that. I, I like um I didn't think it was great, but I I, I can't say that I didn't enjoy the random, random again 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 again. Create mad with power AI coming at us all of a sudden for no good reason. <laughs> Ah, oh, geez. So, we are departing. Where are we departing? What is going on? We're certainly boogieing in the air. We've got a whole flight of ships. There's one over there and one to the left of us as well. And do we have a new paint job on our ship? I swear the Takao was all blue before. Maybe they were just lighting. Yeah. You're going to leave the Air Force, Ingrid? Are you sure? You've only been here for a few years. Your score is pretty exceptional, too. I'm sure there's a replacement ready, isn't there, sir? I don't think who you choose for this position will affect the system that much. The Air Force will run just fine no matter who they are. I want to be in a place where what I do matters. I see. The armed forces are designed to be less dependent on the individual. It can't be helped then. Hmm. A private military company sent me an invitation. The Pentagon's own weapon testing division under direct command of the president. Curious. Also, private companies these days take these kinds of jobs now. That's good for you, then. The defense industry just keeps growing and growing. I'm not so sure about that, sir. It's true the defense industry feeds a lot of people all over the globe. Ooh, listen but to this. I think about how much manpower is being used to find ways to kill more efficiently, it looks a lot less appealing. There's some Kojima-esque pontificating talking. here. <laughs> anyway, I am about to retire. I'm sure I'm starting to look my age, huh? I don't think I'll have the chance to die on the battlefield anymore. If the world really is at peace, the younger ones like you are going to be out of jobs. <laughs> but I think it would be nice if it actually happened, sir. It'd be great if the world was really so peaceful that we could all just exist. I'm sure we could find a job for her outside of, you know, killing people and stuff. Yeah, seems to be the takeaway at the end there. Oh man, that's, that's curious because... That has to have been, like, a flashback, right? That has to be, like, when Ingrid left. Because at first I thought that maybe she's talking to Dragon's Eye right after saving the president in the last mission. But now that I think about it, the way that, um... That, 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 the way that was framed and everything, I think that was, like, a flashback to when Ingrid joined up with Mithril. Like, that, I think that was going on there. 
which case I find it odd that they put it here. Um, these audio logs have always been kind of like real time, like like uh, contemporary recordings. The fact that now they'd have like this uh, several years ago recording at this point without without any recording to tell us what our next mission is, I don't know. An odd choice to me. Uh, not, a, not a huge deal, but I, kind of strange.